I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers. I have been fully compliant with your questioning. Threats are not required. With everything you've done, you're lucky I'm only threatening you right now. Please, this argument is getting us nowhere. Initiate, you've come at the right time. We've been talking to Dr. Blackburn and going over Scribe Valdez's report on what you found in Vault 96. This smug monster is practically bragging about torture and unleashing horrors on the world. And Romani is treating him with kid gloves! I am not bragging. What I have done was necessary. I take no pride in those terrible acts. I will have to live with the shame of them forever. That weight does not, however, diminish that the ends were worth the means. You will learn that soon enough. My colleagues will see that our creation, a vast improvement on the FEV, is distributed shortly. Do you see the arrogance, the self-justification? We should end him and be done with it. That's what I said. It's justice. You've killed people for less. And the people of Appalachia deserve an end to this madness. They'll get it. But summary execution isn't the way. Preventing Dr. Blackburn's associates from taking this horror any further must be our priority. And we may need the doctor to convince them. My colleagues have a laboratory hidden beneath the headquarters of my former employer, West Tech. We intend to correct the FEV's mistakes at their birthplace. Poetically appropriate, would you not agree? My colleagues have a facility better suited to final testing and mass production of the virus. As we speak, they are preparing for its release into the air and water of Appalachia. Once dispersed, it will enter the precipitation cycle in groundwater, and then it cannot be stopped. No. It could spread for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. That is your goal, not mine. But I am not a soldier, and would not withstand strenuous interrogation well. No minor delay on my part will change what is to come. My colleagues are already preparing. Perhaps my cooperation will allow us to make a case for the good we are about to do, and convince you of our cause. Impossible. We could never support something so abominable. Yes. If the doctor's associates are preparing to distribute the virus, we have to put our emotions aside here and get to them before they can. Blackburn's punishment, whatever its form, can wait until Appalachia is safe. Head to West Tech. Find and secure the entrance to this lab, and we'll follow behind. I don't like this, Romani. We should be done with him here and now and level this laboratory. This is just like what Elder Maxon faced at Mariposa. Or have you forgotten? Elder Maxon came to regret acting rashly there. Or have you forgotten? If they've already begun producing the virus, blowing up the place could just help spread it. We'll need to be a bit more delicate than that. Very well. If Blackburn is coming with us, I will be watching him. Perhaps he can provide leverage against his fellow lunatics. If I can prevent further loss of life, I will. Then it's decided. Initiate, head for West Tech. We've no time to lose. See you there.
What's that?
I better get paid double for all this standing around.
everything under control, Initiate. The Hellcats were likely here to protect Blackburn's associates from the super mutants above. Should we expect any further resistance? I am not aware of the details of the defensive measures my colleagues may have taken. I would not, however, expect them to tolerate trespassers. We should keep moving. As you wish. I am your prisoner, after all. I have little choice in the matter. Hmm. Dr. Farhar is nominally the head of their group, Headstrong, an old university colleague. Dr. Jane was a junior scientist at West Tech, brilliant but easily led. He shared my disgust at the Huntersville mistake. Nellie Wright, on the other hand, is Dr. Farhar's pet project, an adoptee of sorts. Very talented, despite her lack of formal schooling. trap I conceived, prepared, and executed entirely while in your custody? You give me too much credit. Certainly. Let's move out. Eyes open. Guards are dead, Dr. Farhan. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. I have been their guest since they discovered our project. Regrettably, they object to what we are doing. We will not be intimidated. This facility is secure. You can't get to us. We will finish our work. This isn't the Huntersville strain. Dr. Blackburn has purified the virus of its considerable defects. We've made something wonderful out of something horrible. We're helping people this time. We've run the simulations. All three of us triple checked the models and compared to prior experimental data. We're confident in the formulation. You know what they say? Human testing is the best testing. A large-scale release will provide a representative sample. Science needs vision, like Dr. Blackburn's, like ours. Let's not let testing hold us back. Well, no, not as such, but... Of course we have. Experimentation has identified the key flaws in the original strain. Iterative testing has pinpointed the defective genetic sequences, and we've corrected them in each case. Of course not! What West Tech did was a terrible mistake. An affront to science. They didn't care who they hurt. And they did it just to see what happened. We're trying to help people. This will make people safe again. Dr. Jane is enthusiastic, but it's true. We are not doing this just to satisfy our curiosity. We're advancing science itself. The cost doesn't matter. No offense to Dr. Jane, but West Tech wasn't doing science. They were only burning ants with a magnifying glass by comparison. Well, sure, it might seem hasty, but... Don't be such a pushover, Jamie. No, wait. I've also had my doubts. 
Perhaps we should discuss this after all. I can see your trouble. You know what you're doing isn't right. Let's talk through this. We can come to an agreement. I want to avoid violence. But that's always on the table. As long as you hold Dr. Blackburn hostage. Let him go. Please, let him go or we will cut off this negotiation and proceed with our plans. I am afraid you will have to give in on this one. If you truly want to stop our distribution process, I advise you to listen to the doctor's entreaties. Allow me to explain. My colleagues could not stop production if they tried. It requires a code. I am the only one who knows the code. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Is this true, Edgar? You'll have to forgive Dr. Farha. She did not know. I added this functionality to our distribution program, as insurance, you might say. Boy, that's handy, huh? So there you have it. I am willing to help you in exchange for sparing my colleagues' lives, but you will have to let me in there with them. Perhaps in the end, I am more willing to sacrifice the lives of strangers than friends and colleagues. I do not wish them to be harmed. My hypocrisy in this is only human. <sighs> I assure you, I have only a peaceful resolution in mind. We cannot seriously be considering this. I don't like it either. But what other option do we have? If we do nothing, the outcome will be just as catastrophic. Dr. Farhar, please permit me inside as a sign of good faith from the Brotherhood. I am certain we can negotiate a peaceful resolution and perhaps preserve our work at the same time. All right. I'm registering you for the security grid. Just you. With your leave? Don't make this worse. This is a mistake. Now that that is over with, Nelly, prep the test chamber. They want proof of our success. I will give it to them myself. Edgar, wait! Only partially. A code is required. My helping you is not. It is only natural that I use wit to resolve such a situation in my favor. If your life was on the line, you would have done the same. Edgar, please, let's talk about this. You've signed your death warrant, Blackburn. I will test the sample on myself and be proof of our achievement. Anything you do to me after does not matter. I'm going in, ready to tag. We should have executed him when we had the chance. Now is not the time. We have to find a way in quickly. There's no time to waste.
scientists are still locked upstairs. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. I did know. We weren't ready. I owe you an apology. Our work was a failure. Any good it might have done was a mirage. I... I knew it in my heart, but didn't listen. As a token of goodwill, I have used Edgar's code to stop production. We will not distribute the virus. I will make sure of that. But I will not simply let you in. There may be little I can do to stop you, but I will defend my colleagues in what little way I can. I will not freely hand over our lives. This is all I can do to resist. Please leave. Do what you will. I wouldn't put it past them to have rigged this exit with traps. There must be a password. We shouldn't waste time searching. If you know how to brute force a terminal, now would be the time. I think they've stopped production. This whole sob story sounds like a trap. We can verify that once the area is secure and send the scribe out there to double check. Until then, stay. You've arrived. Please, hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We truly hope to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization. We failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt, I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Attention, citizens. Nuclear Knowing that, imminent. what are your intentions with us? Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm glad you see the truth of the matter. I'm afraid that's not going to cut it. The Brotherhood exists to keep humanity safe. And your work endangered everyone in Appalachia. If that failed virus had gotten out, countless people could have died. We can't allow you to continue experimenting. Wait, Shin. It's clear that we can't just let them go. But their knowledge could be valuable to the Brotherhood and the people of Appalachia. Blackburn was the ringleader, but he's gone. We know nothing about the others, and of all people, you and I shouldn't fault anyone for trying to make a difference. I can. And I will. Is this still about back then? You can't forgive yourself for your own mistakes, so you refuse to forgive others too. When will you put that behind you? This has nothing to do with that. There will be no more experiments. 
They're too dangerous to keep prisoner. Wait, you're really going to kill us? Hold on. We're not killing anybody. We will bring them back to Fort Atlas and have Scribe Valdez monitor their work. Have you lost your mind? Think about it. This is exactly why the Brotherhood exists. To safeguard technology. I hate to admit it, but the Elders are right on this. We can't let them go, but we can't destroy what knowledge they have either. A wise compromise. I'm willing to cooperate. You. The angry one. Consider the fact that universities are no longer operative. In a generation or two, there will be few, if any, people left in the world with a formal education. How many dozens have you killed? Do you really think your life is worth more than theirs because of your education? We don't need your knowledge if you're deranged enough to resort to human experimentation. Uh, please, stop this. Uh, let us stop for a moment and talk to each other. There's still much that we haven't told you about our work. And we know little about your brotherhood. Perhaps we can find out more where our perspectives overlap. Yes. Maybe some discussion will cool Shin's head. I have no desire for this to come to blows. Very well. You haven't said anything yet. Surely you have an opinion on this matter. Scribe Valdez was appalled to find out that people were being turned into super mutants. You really like to burden her with supervising the social password behind it. Don't be so quick to jump to conclusions. As Dr. Jane said, there is more to our story, if you'd be willing to hear it. Let's pause and open the floor for conversation, shall we? Make it quick, Initiate. Shouldn't take long to see through their lies. I urge you to reconsider. This was never meant to come to my eyes. I never intended to hurt anyone. Dr. Blackburn was in charge of procurement. He told us they were volunteers. It was only later that... But by then... Please understand, we were so close. It could have ended any day. And everything we did was for the greater good. We must carry forward what we learned. Or all that sacrifice will have been for nothing. Dr. Farha may disagree, but I'd like to finish the FEV formula. We can implement new safety measures. Animal experiments of thorough waste disposal. We were so close to improving the human race as we know it. The world has changed, my friend. How are we to survive if we don't change with it? They are good people. Dr. Farah is quite strict, but it's because she cares. About Nelly, particularly. The girl is unorthodox, but you can't fault her for it. We're all born differently into this world. And about Dr. Blackburn. Well, the world has lost a visionary intellect. It's a shame. A tragedy. Please, don't let this work go to waste. What questions do you have for me? Or has your party made a decision? We could focus the idea of human evolution into a more targeted formula. Say, a formula to increase muscle bulk or, or to repel radiation. In fact, I hear serums of that sort may already be circulating among the survivors of the region. I'd like to study what they have created and improve upon it. It went too far. And quite frankly, I regret bringing the others onto this project. By the time I figured out that Dr. Blackburn was experimenting on humans, Nellie and Dr. Jane had already become passionate about the project. I was unable to convince them to pull back. I stayed, 
in the hopes that my objections could save even one innocent person from being experimented on. What questions do you have for me? Or has your party made a decision? Dr. Blackburn and Dr. Jane were my college associates. They didn't know each other at the time. I met Nellie when she broke through my window to search for scraps, as wasteland survivors do. She was more interested in my research notes than my leftovers. So I took her in, taught her what I know. Brotherhood breaks down your door, they say, add victory, hand over your arms. Is that true? Oh, wow. That's scary. You really made my heart skip a beat. I, uh, I don't have any arms. Well, unless you mean human arms, because I've got two of those, but they're mine. You can't have them. Wrong. It's all wrong. We ran the models, but the models were wrong. I know exactly where to change the ratios to make this work. I can make it work. We just need one more chance. Don't run from science. Let us do this. Let us change the world. What about them? Is that any worse than being human? As Dr. Jane says, all life is sacred. You'd probably gun them down regardless, right? To improve the human race. If I was kidnapped for our experiments, I wouldn't mind. Most kidnappers do much worse. Oh, are you a licensed medical professional? Even if you are, it's pretty rude to make sudden, unwarranted diagnoses of people you just met. Okay, I guess. Janie and Farah? Well, I don't think anybody liked me before Farah, so I'm glad we're together. Janie worries too much. He's always asking, are we doing the right thing? Is this gonna work? You don't know until you try. Edgar was the most fun of all. Too bad he miscalculated. You're not really gonna kill us, are you? I'm awfully young to die. You can fit a lot of experiments into 60 more years. What questions do you have for me? Or has your party made a decision? I'm responsible for the actions of my associates. I ask that you have mercy on them, if not me. Those who commit crimes against humanity must be punished. It wouldn't be right to let them run free. Not to the people they killed, and not to the people they could kill in the future. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia, and of the world. Uh, 
I don't see what other option there is. As I stated before, they're too dangerous to hold prisoner. So we either ignore the danger or eradicate it. Whether I'm being dogmatic or not is irrelevant. My goal is to find a solution to a threat, and I don't see you offering any other suggestions. It hasn't been a matter of if for some time now. Only a matter of when. I'm fully prepared to uphold the integrity of the Brotherhood in whatever way Romani makes necessary. That is none of your concern. How long do you intend to sweep it under the rug like nothing happened? You're torturing yourself, Shin, and they deserve to know. Maybe so. But this is neither the time nor the place for this discussion. Shin, you owe it to yourself to admit that you made a mistake. Stop crumbling under the guilt and just accept it. I... For those I failed then, and those I failed since, for them, I have to do better. The raiders on the expedition route. Romani decided we would stay and fight them. But giving the order to distribute the weapons to the settlers there, it was my idea. I wanted to give them a chance. But I got them killed instead. The rocket launchers. The ones we found at the crater and foundation. We had secured those weapons from a military facility with the intent of keeping them safe. Brotherhood hands only, but there was a town being attacked by raiders. I thought that equipping the townspeople would give them a better chance. It didn't work. The town was taken over, and the weapons fell into raider hands. It's my fault that happened. I vowed to never make a mistake like that again. Despite that vow, Initiate Norland still died on my watch. I can't let the past keep repeating itself. I can't give those scientists another chance to harm innocent people. The outcome is more important than the intent. What I learned from that mistake was not to let my feelings blind me. Some things are a lost cause. Some chances are too dangerous to take. As much as we may want to believe otherwise. There's nothing to get over. I acknowledge that I've made poor decisions then and now. That's why I'm making a better decision today. You have to see that keeping these criminals alive would be misguided and reckless. Then I hope you'll also take away the same lesson that I did. This is bigger than all of us. I hope you understand that. We need to come to an agreement. I won't stand for impulsive violence. The scientists are to return to Fort Atlas with us and work alongside Scribe Valdez on a new project that we all agree upon. These are smart people. They just need to be pointed in the right direction. They could still do a lot for humanity. Methods were cruel and wrong, but no one is beyond forgiveness. What matters is what they do from today onward. Let's give them a chance to make things right. Then we must stand up for what we believe. We will not allow Shin to create a hateful brotherhood which passes judgment as it sees fit. This is human life we're talking about. Haven't enough died already. I'm glad to hear you say that. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it may be a breaking point for Shin. Once he realizes his authority isn't respected, I suspect he'll run back to the Elders with his tail between his legs. This chapter of the Brotherhood will become what it should be, with or without Shin. I hope you can see what we need to do here, what we need to do for the Brotherhood.
What questions do you have for me? And what has your organization decided? <sighs> that's a relief. I assure you that you'll have our cooperation. So that's it then. You and Romani would repeat the mistakes of the past and use these criminals to build more weapons of destruction. To send the world further down the path of chaos for your own gain. All while wearing the Brotherhood insignia on your chest. The Brotherhood's mission has always been to use the power of science to guide us to a better world. Rather than murder great minds, we will shape them into people who will serve that mission. And we will do it without barbarians like you. On that point, we agree. I refuse to serve an illegitimate branch of a principled institution. The elders need to know about our failures. All of them. It will be my honor to give that report in person. My best initiates will be coming with me. The ones I can trust. Take them. There are plenty more willing recruits out there who would rather extend a helping hand than a killing blow. You mean who'd rather cower behind the guise of altruism than take responsibility and make things right? It doesn't matter. Do as you will, Romani. The elders will judge the outcome. Goodbye. We are grateful. The work we do next could still change the world. You go on ahead. I'll bring the scientists back to Fort Atlas, then we can discuss everything that's happened. Friends, initiates, faces new and old. It's good to see you today. I am proud to announce that the mutant threat has been cornered and removed. But it came with an unfortunate consequence. I'm sure you all know that relations between Shin and I have been strained for some time now. I'm afraid my leaving out his title is no mistake. Shin and his followers have decided to part ways with the Appalachian Brotherhood. I had every wish to work together with Shin on my mission, and still do. But he is no longer open to discussion. His loyalty to the Elders is unshakable. He would rescind his oath before besmirching the Brotherhood's name. Should he ever open his mind, I will be ready to listen. Now I 
have one more announcement to make. I'd like to recognize a particular initiate's exceptional contributions to our chapter. In most cases, this recognition would take the form of a standard rank increase. However, being a knight is a dedicated responsibility, and it's become quite clear to me that this initiate has obligations beyond just the Brotherhood of Steel. I won't take you away from Appalachia. As such, I'm granting you the unique title of Knight Errant. Why don't you come stand between Scribe Valdez and I so I may officially confer your title? For exceptional contributions to the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, I hereby name you Knight Errant. You may split your time with the Brotherhood as you see fit. We are forever grateful for what you've done for us. Now everyone, feel free to take a short break before your next assignment. You've earned it. Well, I think the best chance the Brotherhood has at reaching some sort of truce with the Raiders is with Romani. Then again, she is pretty self-righteous and still needs to learn to live and let live. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually starting to like it here. I do miss Pierce, Sheena, and Burke, though. I hope that they're staying safe. The loss of my mother still hurts. But I know now the Brotherhood isn't solely to blame. Thanks for showing me a different perspective. See ya! Can you put in a good word for me with Paladin Romani? Yeah, except when she bosses me around. But she and I'll be big like her and she won't be able to do that anymore. I'll still be able to take you, little twerp. No way! I'm gonna be super strong and have power armor. You won't even stand a chance. Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Isn't that cool? No worries, friend. Congratulations Did that on your promotion. Really? Aaron. Just happened? I knew things between the higher-ups were shaky, but I didn't think one of them would actually leave, especially Knight Shin. I mean, it seemed like the Brotherhood was everything to him. Well, I guess things are going to change a bit around here. We owe this victory to you, Knight. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Look forward to it, even. Whatever reorganization we need to do, I'm sure it'll shake out into something even better than what we've got right now. Paladin Romani is the leader I want to follow. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. See you around, Knight Errant. Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Errant. Knight Errant, it has been an honor to serve with you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, what are we gonna do? Who's gonna handle everything? Who's gonna lead the recruits? What am I gonna do? Oh gosh. <sighs> okay. Okay, I think I'm alright. Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Aaron. I don't do well with really big changes. I think I'm just... I think I need some time to process this. I'm gonna sit down. So, Night Shin is gone. I can't believe it. I wanted to be optimistic about their conflict, right up until the end. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like maybe this was inevitable. If only there was more I could have done. Well, both of them would die for their beliefs. At least this way, they can pursue those beliefs separately, rather than killing each other over them.
It is. But at least you and I are still here. Through everything we made it. That's something we can be grateful for. So don't be a stranger. You have the freedom to go anywhere. But remember, you're a part of our brotherhood now. You'll always have a home here. I'm going to keep doing my job. With one officer down, there's going to be a lot of slack to pick up. There's still a lot more I'd like to see out there, but right now, I need to support the Brotherhood. Things are gonna get a lot looser around here. Paladin Romani never believed in strict regulations. She's going to focus on recruitment and outreach. Well, if she can find the time. Don't mention it. As the resident scribe, it's my job to keep things functioning around here. Until next time. So, Knight Errant, how does your new title feel? You deserve it. Don't let the Wasteland tell you otherwise. Now, we can start making the Brotherhood the benevolent organization I always wanted it to be. Our focus has to be helping the people of Appalachia, reaching out a hand and making them feel safe. This is a new dawn. Be proud that you were a part of it. I'm disappointed Shin would turn his back on us. It's certainly better than the alternative. There were times I truly wondered what I would do if it came to it. If Shin pointed his gun at me, I know what I would do. So I'm grateful he didn't make me do it. Don't be a stranger. There will always be a place for you at Fort Atlas. Ad Victorium. Knight Errant, it's been an honor to serve with you. We owe this victory to you, Knight Errant. Congratulations on your promotion, Knight Errant.